بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Brothers and sisters, we're all aware of what has taken place in uh, Christchurch in New Zealand. 49 people have been massacred. They have been executed uh, by this terrorist. Um, firstly, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has mercy on all of those who were killed, that he grants them martyrdom, that he places their souls in the, uh, in the belly of the birds, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he mentioned. And these are people who they died in the way of Allah Jalla wa ala. They were in the masjid, they were attending the salah, they were praying the Jumu'ah uh, and they were uh, killed for no other reason than they are Muslims. Uh, but this highlights a, a bigger problem and a deeper issue which I think we need to highlight and I think we all need to be aware of and condemn and speak out and be very uh, vociferous about and that is the ideological grooming going on uh, in the western media uh, creating an us and them mentality us being the non-muslims uh, and you know uh, them being the muslims us being the people who are civilized and we want to live in this society them being the backwards uh, archaic muslims who just want to come here take our jobs uh, and kill us and this is a narrative which if you look at the uh, you know where you to collate the uh, headlines and the way an attack or the way a crime or way an incident is reported if it's a muslim then you will always find reference to his color, his race, uh, of course his religion being the primary thing and how he is, uh, you know, uh, he is uh, somebody who's a barbarian and other than that. And if you then find a similar atrocity or even worse and it has been committed by a non-Muslim, then you find that much milder terms are used and this is just... Uh, subhanallah well known to anybody with an intellect but the thing is this type of media sensationalism this type of ideological grooming which is going on this is what leads to these attacks and so yes we say that we are disgusted we are upset hurt uh, we are angry with these attacks but I don't think any of us could truly say that he is surprised because when you have um, a climate of media like this a climate of uh, you know just uh, constantly bashing or constantly painting the Muslims in a certain way then undoubtedly these types of attacks are going to result and so brothers and sisters there's just a few things that we have to recognize here is that you know number one groups like uh, the EDL, people like uh, Tommy Robinson and his group and people who follow this type of fascist mentality and this uh, racism uh, and this terrorism which they are upon, then undoubtedly you find that subhanAllah they will feed off uh, and they will be influenced by the media. So undoubtedly the media has a role to play in this and, and we put a portion of the blame on the media as a whole and their depiction of the Muslims uh, and this us and them mentality which is portrayed in the media. That's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is that we have to be aware of this uh, media uh, sensationalism when it comes to the Muslims and so we have to take everything that they say with a pinch of salt. We have to be people who are critical thinkers and we have to be people who are aware. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Ja'akum Fasikum binaba in Fatabayanu that if an evildoer comes to you with some news, then verify it. And this is an evildoer. What about somebody who you know is openly against your religion, somebody who is trying to paint the Muslims in a certain light? Then of course we shouldn't then just believe everything that we're told. So let's not just be sheep who are just following uh, blindly or mindlessly. The third thing is that undoubtedly, uh, although we blame these groups as well, we also have to 
uh, you know, uh, see that there are catalysts for this type of behavior when it comes to ISIS and when it comes to these types of things. Yes, no doubt the media is a catalyst, but at the same time, we also have to stamp out the ideological grooming which is going on by these groups who are upon the way of the Khawarij, the methodology, upon this Khariji methodology, renegading from the religion, uh, committing, you know, uh, violent acts of terrorism and other than that, uh, and, you know, uh, painting the Muslims in general uh, in a very negative light and at the same time providing ammunition for these people okay so you know it's a knee-jerk reaction and the fourth thing brothers and sisters we have to see that there is a huge amount of Islamophobia there is a huge amount of Islamophobia but sadly it goes unnoticed you say one word against a Jewish person you say one word against Israel and suddenly uh, you know it's anti-semitic and and you know uh, you hate all of the Jews and all of that and yet subhanallah a person can get away with saying so much more about Islam and yet Allahu Akbar, it's freedom of speech and it's talking about immigration and, and, and all of these crazy things and it doesn't matter how you package it, we need to see that there's a lot of Islamophobia going on. In these times, brothers and sisters, more than ever, we need to cling on to the Book of Allah, the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. We have to seek patience and assistance in the Salah for, and, and in Dua. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he makes it easier for all of those who are involved at the same time we have to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we make dua for our Muslim rulers that Allah jalla wa ala gives them the tawfiq and the guidance to stand up and to uh, criticize and condemn these actions and so that make sure that you know they are seen uh, in the true serious way that they are I just want you to imagine if a Muslim went into a synagogue and he uh, killed 49 people imagine Imagine the, the way that it would be portrayed or if a Muslim he went into a church and did that or if a Muslim went into a concert and he did that and we're not calling for any of these things but the fact is that it's undeniable and the, the studies have shown these things that if it's a Muslim who does these immediately it's terrorism unless proven otherwise and if it's not a Muslim then you know he's a lone wolf and all of those other things that we find mentally uh, unstable um, and in this uh, in this attack ironically they had no choice but to label it as terrorism the Prime Minister uh, she labeled it as terrorism and so brothers and sisters number one this is a time where we need to be united upon the book and the Sunnah uh, upon the understanding of those companions this is a time where we all need to come together we shouldn't let go of our religion for fear of this. Rather, we should uh, stick uh, closer and be firmer upon our deen. We, we need to uh, come together as communities and denounce this behavior. We need to come together and stamp out all forms of groups. Whether it comes from the media, whether it comes from the groups like ISIS and these other types of groups, we need to stamp out all forms of grooming. And at the same time, we need to be vigilant. Uh, and we have to call out injustice wherever we may find it. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has mercy on those who have passed away. He grants them al-firdaus al-a'la. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he protects us and our communities, our families from these types of attacks. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he allows us to see the truth as the truth and follow it. Uh, and he allows us to see falsehood as falsehood and to abstain from it. Wa Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.